Hi, y'all. Choice here. Thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Hey, look. I just wanted to share with you Though we talk about this law of vibration, law of attraction, all these different things, and, and of course, vibrating higher is the best way to go. There's a way to go that will, when you get your frequency up, higher vibes, meaning feel good vibes, feeling good, speaking well, feeling well, speaking good, <laughs> Though we keep our vibe on high, I don't care how much purging you do. I don't care how much praying you do. How much meditation you do. How much mindset changing you do. You're still going to have to grow through some things. This is a spiritual journey. There are no shortcuts. There is no way that you can take, or there isn't any way that you can take that will be a shortcut for your purpose here. Okay, so we, we really need to be clear. Is the way that we will see things as we grow through things. The way that we will perceive situations as we grow through the situation. That will ease the impact of the ebbs and flows of life. Life has to go through its ebbs and flows. There are going to be some challenges along the way. Okay, but it's your, the way that you perceive these challenges, which is what will make the world a difference. It also will determine whether or not you ascend, as I spoke about before, or descend, or remain in a loop. You know, so just because we make the change, we change our attitude, walk around with the positive mental attitude, you know, the positive mental attitude, the loving on everyone and being bright and shiny every day, all day. <laughs> you will not escape or bypass or ease past what life has in store for you. For us. We still have, you know, to go on this course. I don't know if it's, you know, uh, I will say a morality and, yeah, it can be a morality course. You know. <laughs> Integrity course. <laughs> a value course. You have to go through the course, the pathways. This here on earth is the university, probably the finest university you will ever attend. So there will people prefer, well, we, I prefer not to say lessons, but basically if you want to see it that way, life lessons have to happen. We must welcome them if we're going to get through it and still be sane. We must appreciate them as they show up in our lives if we're going to maintain some type of balance. This is, this is life. And truly, if you had not gone through these pathways, who knows, you know, the, evolu the, the evolution has to happen. The spiritual evolution has to happen. The spiritual revolution has to happen. And of course, the liberation of your mind has to happen at some point during this lifetime. And if it doesn't happen now, who knows? Okay, people say you come back and do it again. Some people say it's all over, it's ended. But I don't know. 
energy keeps recycling. I don't care if you're up into the air. <laughs> Bug may come and, and, and uh, eat off you. <laughs> the rain comes and it evaporates. <laughs> Whatever happens, energy recirculates. And so this is life. The ebbs and flows of life have to come. I don't care all the internal work that you do. It is what it is. But the most that it will do is to help you to understand who you are as you are going through this course at this great and grandest and most awesome eternal love type university of life. Much love, peace here, choice. Anyway, much love. Namaste. Thank you.